Hi guys, welcome to this week's Analogues, brought to you by Kim Smelter. Next week, Gita Algren will be presenting to you the Analogues. Um, we'll go through a few different things today. We'll um, talk about what's new on the website. We'll talk about some EU news and updates which you should, should be aware of. We'll talk about some of the Ana activities, and that will be it for this week's Analogues. So, what's new on the website? Well, we've been working on the new resource center. We've been uploading a number of um, past documents which could be useful for members to be aware about. Um, we've posted the new statutes, we've posted the General Assembly minutes from the previous General Assemblies, and we are also publishing a number of brochures and other documents for you to be able to download. We also have been publishing a number of news items this week, which you should be aware about. Um, the first is that we've posted some information about some pro bono legal advice, which has been issued by one of Anna's, um, by an organization which Anna is working with. We've also published some information about a new Eurobarometer survey on the attitudes around vocational education and training, which could be of interest to you, as well as a call for proposal issued by the European Commission's DG Employment and Social Affairs, talking about um, launching a pilot project, which is a, creating an all-inclusive cooperation between business, public sector, and social enterprises. On EU news, there's a few things which are kind of hitting the, the headlines. The first of which is that the 2012 EU budget um, is um, preparing, is, well, basically there's a fight that's looming ahead between the European Parliament and the Council of Ministers. Essentially, the European Parliament has thrown back, um, has rolled back all of the cuts proposed by the Council of Ministers and is asking basically for the European Commission's proposal for the 2012 budget to remain as is. So this will of course um, not be very, will not be welcomed by member states which are trying to cut the EU budget. There's also at the moment a review of the state aids rules as part of the, the wider EU budget overall, which is also going to be um, creating some opportunities for civil society organizations to essentially ensure that the new rules around state aids is a bit more is a bit more well, well is a bit easier to manage for civil society organizations next week um, the european network of national civil society associations team will be very busy um, the in cyprus the council of europe is organizing the forum for new democracy and i will be attending on behalf of anna and and will be um, talking about the future of democracy we are also preparing a webinar on state aids and on the social services of general interest, which could be of interest to members to attend. We will be sending, um, watch the space for more information regarding this webinar. Gita is also proceeding um, with her research on the advocacy role of national associations. So members can expect in the coming weeks to receive a new survey based on the feedback that she received during the General Assembly. And also the steering group has agreed to meet in Brussels on the 15th and the 16th of December to discuss the result of the, of the, um, in, well, of the transition that we are currently undergoing with NCVO. And um, we hope to basically operationalize a lot of the agreements which will, have been, which will have been agreed by the members during the November special webinar which we will be organizing. So, that concludes all of the information for this week and uh, the big updates, and we look forward to seeing you next week for the next issue of The Analogues. Speak to you soon. Bye!